am. I'm back. Yes, this is not my usual setup. This is the mess that I did for purses, bags, and wallets. Oh my! I'm going to start off with my current purse and all of the stuff that lives in it, at least currently. Okay, I've got, since Oregon has gone to no plastic shopping bags, I have my collection of little fold-up shopping bags. We also have um, the larger grocery bag type and the, the grocery box type. But these get attached to my purse. And I've got my, you know, little customer card things so I can hit up um, the places that have discounts and stuff for joining the club. And my keys and my sunglasses and the evil cell phone current wallet, bunch of receipts, little card case with business cards in it that have my YouTube info on it, notebook, bunch of pens, my gloves, the ultimate in hats. This one is handmade, I did it sanitary product, and a little lip balm that you just open up. Pick it up at Dollar Tree, it works. Now, in the pile over there with the Betty Boop bag, which is an Ipsy bag, I have some of my other stuff that I keep with me constantly. I have this little widget which is a thread cutter. It's a clover thread cutter. Now originally when they made started making these they had a little screw excuse me a little screw in the middle and you could open it up and change the razor blade. Because of the issue with TSA and getting on planes and having the TSA have a conniption with anything you could take apart like that that had a sharp in it, they no longer come apart. However, they are inexpensive enough that if you are taking, you know, yarn work or you know, embroidery or whatever with you while traveling. You don't need scissors. And with the, the price point arm, once the, the little razor finally gets to the point where it is too dull to use, they're dead cheap. You can replace it. And then I have some elf blotting sheets. I'm not Oily, but I do sweat. So I keep blotting sheets. Better that than trying to scrub the sweat off. It's between the fibromyalgia and the hot flashes. Yeah, I need them. Then I have my COPD inhaler. Yeah, my lungs don't work right. Then I have these little bottles. That's the emergency nitro tablets I have to carry in case I start having chest pains while I'm out and about doing it. And then I've got two of my Lucky Rocks. I've got, since I'm a diabetic, I carry glucose tabs. Basically, if you find that you're feeling pitiful, 
and you think it's your your sugars have dropped you can use these to level your glucose out so that you can feel better until you get something to eat physicians formula liquid matte lip it's the healthy lip velvet finish and coral minerals that I've been using off and on with stuff and a little comb. Yes, I only need a little comb. Think about it. I don't have a lot of hair. Now, the rest of this, after I get this mess all straightened out, is I'm going to pull the rest of my purses and little makeup bags and my wallets and stuff and I'm going to count them but that's going to mean there's going to be cuts because I have a bunch you cannot see the whole pile that is over Oh, and the color back here, the big color blocks back here beyond the gold thing that I've laid out for the first stuff. That's one of the quilts I just finished. I like making quilts. This one's very, very, very intensely colorful. There are days where I look at it and go, how the hell do we sleep with something so loud? But, yep, we do. Anyway, I'll be right back and let you see the mass of stuff. Alrighty, now I've got things spread out a little more again. And other than couple of designer bags. This is the overall collection between purses, wallets, and bags to put in bags. Some of them are simple. They're even just drawstring bags. And then, you know, basic little makeup bags. Now, question one on this purses, bags, and wallets, oh my, is how many purses do you have? Well, not counting the ones that you really can't see right now, which are mostly the designer bags and the big hobo bags, I have 18 purses. I've even got this one, which is a vintage piece for going to a party. It's all beadwork and sequins. And then this little evening bag. And then I've got this little bag. I went to a, um, well, actually, I was part of the work crew and the design and development crew for a um, release party for one of the Potter books. We had a old-fashioned bookstore that was delighted to pretend to be flourishing blots and we set up a bunch of places all out in their parking lot to then interesting items. One of the people there has one of those really glorious embroidery machines. And she had, in several different colors, these little pouches with head big. And then we've got the pouch opens on the other side. 
you've actually got space up in here if you've got something that you can, you know, easily fold over it to keep it from falling out. You've got a pocket down here. And then that absolutely gorgeous embroidery patch. The next one that's down here, that is a felted wool bag that I made for myself. I sat and committed it, and then I felted it. And I made a liner for it that's got more than one pocket. You've got a little divider here, and it's got way down in the bottom. It's got like card pockets and all that kind of thing that I sewed up. And it, I used what I had at hand at the time. And I had this belt buckle thing to use for the latch. And I had some scrap fabric that looked good enough with it to do things like the latch tab and the handles. The next one is just a leather bag that I picked up at thrift store. Most of the bags that you're seeing out here are either thrift store or yard sale. I have a habit. Alright. My favorite color for purses is the one called Oxblood, which is like the one that I'm currently using. And then I have all make manner and description of wallets. This is an actual Vera Bradley that I picked up at a thrift store with a matching purse. It's over there. This is one of those little aluminum metal wallets. little change purse. I've got two wallets that are almost identical. This is the black one. The red one has the same interior. I've got this wallet, which is kind of fun because you've got all this stuff going on in here. And then you've got zippers over here and zippers over here. And you can carry it like a little wristlet if you want. The red quilt pattern over there is another wallet that's got all the fold outs for things like checkbooks and pictures and all that stuff. The bags up here, this one is one of those that even though it says meds on it, that's because this one's big enough to take my meds when we're traveling. But this is one of the ones that's got, you know, the little pockets for brushes and a little net place to put stuff and plenty of room for stuff. So I've got Ipsy bags. I've got AOA bags, I've got, yeah, I even have a Sephora bag because of that one time I picked up a leftover Sephora play. So there was a small bag in that. It's a white with black polka dots. But yeah, this is part of the 18 purses that are all built up in this giant blue tote that I have them all stuffed in. The tote slides under the bed. I change out purses about once a month. Just for the heck of it. Because if I've got it, I'm going to use it. 
Anyway, I'm going to put all this stuff away and then get the last little bit out. But like I said, it's 18 purses. It's kind of amazing. Let's see. How many makeup stuff bags do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve makeup bags. I've actually given some away. My daughter-in-law needed a new one. And my granddaughter, now that she's 14, has been gifted with some of them. So, yeah. Three. How many wallets do you have? The one in the bag I'm currently using. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wish I had lots of money to go in all of them. Are you a designer hunter? Yes. I will hunt down Etienne Agner bags like there's no tomorrow. I love Etienne Agner. Love it. I've got several Etienne Agner bags, most of which I picked up at one of the outlets. I only had one bag that I bought brand new because at the time the doctors I was working with gave me a Macy's gift card. And I therefore took myself to the Macy's and acquired the other one that I, the other designer that I sort of like is Vera Bradley. I sort of like her. I like some of her bags, but I've never been completely sold on all cloth bags. Most of the stuff that I've got for the designer pile is Agna. When I still had a outlet nearby, that's where I'd go get my shoes, too. Because they make nine and a half wide. Do you know how hard it is to find a nine and a half? It's ridiculous. And my foot is precisely a nine and a half. And most places you go, they'll go eight and a half, nine, ten. Um, like, you know, there really are people who need that nine and a half. They don't seem to much care. Anyway, I'm going to tuck away this bit and I actually do have a relatively reasonable filing system for this stuff. I've got a divider in the, the tote box to put things like the makeup bags and the wallets and stuff in to keep them a little better organized and then I lay out the rest of the bags as best they fit. Now a lot of the bags I've got are very flat which makes it easy. Some of them are not so flat. They're rather structured like this one and the um straw one with the orange. Anyway, let me get these put away.
see. Quest, but before I do that, question five. Do you search thrift stores for purses, bags, wallets, especially looking for the ones that fit your design hunter or just whatever? Number six, will you only purchase bags, wallets, new? I think it's safe to say that answer is no. Nah. Just no. Nah. <laughs> to the season. Not necessarily. I tend to use some of the darker stuff during the winter, but I don't really get that picky about it. Number nine. Do you insist on taking a full makeup bag with you every day? No. You saw the makeup bag, the little Betty Boop bag, it was that's in my regular purse currently. You saw that there's actually not that much makeup in it. I tend to do my makeup sitting here. Well, not sitting here. I've like spread out all over the bed to make space enough for this. But no, I used to. I really did used to. Question 10. Are your purses bought with the size of your makeup bag in mind? used to be used to be now it's more the size of the pile of stuff I have to carry with me because I'm an old woman on medications and stuff I don't worry so much about the makeup be right back Alrighty, this is the end of the big show and tell. The black bag, red bag, and camel bag are all NDMs. Dear Bradley, dear Bradley. Um, this is the only other designer bag I have, and it's not that big a designer. I mean, we're talking about a Liz Claiborne. This one and this one, the two Vera Bradleys, were at a thrift shop for $2 a piece. Brand new. The pink one is the one I have the matching little trifold wallet. Thrift store. Thrift store. Thrift store. Walmart. That's it. Oh, the beige puppy. That's Lolly. I've showed you Finny. Now you've seen Lolly. Anyway, I'm not showing you the rest of the quilt top because, as you saw, Miss Lolly likes to be on top of the quilt. So, there's dog fur everywhere. Hmm. Anyway, yes, I like to collect makeup. I have a few other things I enjoy collecting, but I use them. I know, I've got way more than I can use 
equally within a year. But then some of them are special occasion anyway. Now the little black Etienne has a long strap that I can do crossbody with. The red is a satchel and the camel is a satchel. It's actually a very small bag. So it's one of those that if I'm going to like the fall wedding or something, it's about perfect. One that's not too terribly um, formal or anything. Now, my thrift store bags, if I decide I no longer appreciate them, I take them back to the thrift store and let somebody else play with them for a while. Unless they get really, really, really nasty. Now, this one, it's been textured, but this is not real animal hide of any kind. Well, that depends on whether or not you consider Nagas a, a real animal. You know, the Naga hide sofas and such. Anyway. Yes. I have leather purses. I'm rather fond of them. No, I am neither a vegetarian nor a vegan. In any manner. I wear leather belts. I wear leather shoes. I carry leather bags. That's me. If it offends you, that would be your opinion. But there you go. There is the purses and bags and wallets. Oh my! From my little house. Be good!